In this video, we'll talk about how to create a community browser toolbar for your website. This is just another type of application which can generate backlinks back to your site. If you're not sure about what the toolbar can do for you, I'll explain in just a second. Let's head over to the conduit.com and scroll down and click Create a Community Toolbar. Let's see what they're saying about their community toolbar. Conduit Platform enables web publishers of all sizes to create and publish a branded, customized community toolbar. The platform is very powerful, yet easy to use. Anything you can put on a website can also be deployed on a community toolbar and offered to your users wherever they are on the web, including applications, content, gadgets, feeds, social media tools, personal account data, games, services, links, and more. Plus, every community toolbar is available in 17 languages, has notifications built in, so you can send real-time messages to your users, and comes complete with a search box powered by Bing to ensure your users have instant access to the most powerful search on the web. Here are some of the benefits of creating a toolbar for your community. Increased traffic, brand awareness and loyalty, constant contact with your community, engaged users, up-to-date content, effective promotions, increased revenue. And there are even more benefits, but I think this is enough. As you know, all we care about are backlinks, so these features aren't really that important for us. But you might want to consider this toolbar for some of your future marketing campaigns, and it's not a bad thing to know what it can do for you. Okay, now that you know what this toolbar is all about, let's get started by clicking this big red button. Before you can get started with your toolbar, you need to register an account, so go ahead and do that if you don't have one already. As I have already registered an account, I'll go ahead and log in. Now, let's go here and click Create Manage Toolbar. Then, Create New, give it a name, Over here, we can see how our toolbar looks, and down here, we have a bunch of options that we can add to our toolbar. Let's go ahead and add a few. First, we have the logo. If you have your own logo, then go ahead and use it. But if you don't have a logo, you can just type in the name of your site and choose a style, and it will automatically replace the logo. Let's see, what else can we do? There's a YouTube plugin which you could add if you have your own YouTube channel, so let's do that. I'm going to choose an icon first. I'm trying to find something that looks like a video. There it is. Now let's type the name of your YouTube channel. and click Save. We could also add an email notifier. It looks like there's nothing here for us to edit, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. Um, let's go with this Twitter app. Text label, I'll just put follow us. And let's go ahead and add a few Twitter accounts over here. As my toolbar is somewhat Texas Hold'em related, I'll add a few poker stars. And 
save it. Before we can see our toolbar in action, we need to publish it, and then we try it out by downloading and installing it. So bear with me while I download and install it. And this is it. This is how the toolbar looks, like when it's done. Before we move on to the next video, we'll need to do just one more thing. We need to take a screenshot of the toolbar and prepare our applications for submission. I already showed you how to take a screenshot in the last video, but I'll do it again in case you didn't remember. First, you need to press the Print Screen button on the keyboard. Then open Paint and select the toolbar, and click Crop. Let's save it. In the next video, we'll talk about how to go about submitting your application as a pad file.